guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Friday, April 8th, and we need to do Weigh In Wednesday. <laughs> so as you can see by the title of this video, we need to do Weigh In Wednesday. As you can also see, we are not in the gym today, and this video is two days late, but we're going with it anyways. So as you guys know, I weigh in on Mondays, and I upload the videos on Wednesdays. It's just been a crazy, crazy week. So my apologies there, but we're gonna talk about weigh-in Wednesday today. But before we do that, I wanna talk to you guys about excuses. So as you guys all know, when it comes to a fitness journey, wellness journey, whatever it is, it is so easy to like start making excuses. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of our excuses, they really are valid. You know, like if somebody dies and you have to go to a funeral and you miss your workout, like that's valid, right? But also, if we're completely honest with ourselves, a lot of our excuses are just they're just, I'm just gonna say it, just piss poor excuses, piss poor excuses. But I'm gonna share with you guys something. Um, I'm not just calling you guys out, but I'm gonna call myself out as well. So let me tell you guys what happened. Last week on Friday, I walked 10 miles, right? And like when I finished, my toes were kind of sore. So I was like, geez, my toes are sore. So give me one second. So as a physical therapist, like I turn, you know, first thing I do is I check my shoes and I'm like, I look at my shoes, can you guys see that? And like, <laughs> these actually have a hole in them. I should have I should have gotten new shoes a long time ago, like trying to be frugal and put it off as long as I could. But anyways, I was like, dang, like no wonder my feet hurt. Like these shoes, I killed it. I just purchased these like in October, but that just goes to show you how many miles I've walked, right? Like I've been, I've been killing it. Let's just call it what it is. However, so I ordered new shoes. I, yeah, so I actually ordered the same shoes that Friday, right? Well, on Saturday and Sunday, I had two six-milers scheduled, which at this point, I'm just walking like a steady safe. So for me to walk six miles, it's not a big deal. Like, it's actually very stress relieving. So I had six miles scheduled for Saturday and Sunday. But guess what? I was like, my shoes are not here. They're not going to be here until Tuesday. So I'm not going to walk the six miles <laughs> like what kind of foolishness is that let me show you guys something else real quick hang on let me turn let me turn the camera around but you guys truthfully i have no shortage of sneakers like yeah these have holes in them but listen i have these i could have chosen from i have these i could have chosen from i have these i could have chosen from i also have these sneakers i have these sneakers i have these sneakers and I have these. Wait a minute, there's one more pair. Hold on. Okay, here we go. And I also have these sneakers that I could have, I actually walked in these on Monday, but still, no. I actually walked in these on Tuesday, but still, like, I had all of these to choose from. But no, I just wanted to wait until the new ones came in. Here's the box. I made myself wait until the new ones came in and then they were supposed to arrive on Tuesday, but they didn't even get here until Wednesday. So, why do we do that? Why? Like, I had all of these to choose from, but I literally convinced myself that I could not do my longer walks because I didn't have the right shoes. <laughs> it is so easy to trick or convince ourselves that there's an obstacle in front of us just because just because what we want to do is not there just because the path of least resistance or the most favorable opportunity is not right in front of us it is so it is so easy to convince ourselves that what we're trying to do is impossible and I just wanted to talk to you guys about that today. I'm just wondering like where in your life are you creating piss poor excuses? The same way that I was, you know? Like I literally convinced myself that I could not do my longer walks because I did not have the right shoes. And it's obvious that I could have worn, <laughs> I actually wore, I did four and a half miles in these on Tuesday while I was waiting for these to come in, but how many times have we done that? Like in our finances, how many times have we done that? You know, like in our wellness journeys, like how many times have we given ourselves the out? Like so easily, I so easily gave myself an out. And here's the thing. So 
Six miles for me burns about 650 calories or a little bit more. So it's not just the fact that I didn't go out and do my six miles, right? It's the fact that I missed that caloric burn. So that's like over 1200 calories that I did not, I didn't get. And you think I cut back on my food? No. <laughs> that's so bad, but I didn't. Like I didn't cut back on my food. I don't like to cut back on food. I'd rather work out a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's just a brief little thing. This is gonna be a short video. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted you to sit down and think for yourself, like where is it in your life right now, whether it be in a relationship, in a business. I've done it in business before. I've convinced myself that I didn't have enough money to start or I didn't have the right software, the right programs. You know, I've convinced myself in so many areas, even like when it comes to parenting, you know, cer certain times you'll not do things because you feel like, you don't have this or you don't have that certain events you don't have the right dress you don't have the right like where in your life are you holding yourself back and you're creating these piss poor excuses when all you got to do is just do the darn thing like i could have worn any of these shoes and went out and got my six miles in each day but i didn't i i got in felicia's way i held felicia back so I just want you to sit down with yourself and ask like, where are you holding yourself back? Like it's not anyone else's fault, it's your fault. And again, there are legitimate excuses. But for the most part, y'all know we be tripping. We just be tripping. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, let's talk about week 43's weigh-in. All right, you guys know I weigh in on Monday, upload the video on Wednesday. All right, so you guys know that last week I weighed in at my new lowest weight on this weight loss journey. I was 222.4, which I was madly excited about. Well, this week on Monday, I weighed in at 223.4. I'll put it here, 223.4. All right, so how does Felicia feel about that? Usually I'll feel like if I was on point and I did everything right, I would be like, yeah, I'm not worried about it because I know my my body will balance out eventually. But honestly, I feel a little um I feel a little disappointed in myself because I got in my own way. Like I do think that I could have maintained the 222.4, but I didn't. Like I just didn't. I just told you guys I missed my workouts because because I didn't have the right freaking shoe. Like that is so stupid, right? So, I mean, there are times, like I don't know what next week's weigh-in is gonna be, I'll be completely honest, because we had another death in the family and we had a hell storm here in Florida, so we'll talk about that in next week's video. But I have been trying to like watch my diet, even though I haven't been able to put in all the workouts that I usually do. But yeah, so anyways, for this week, we have a gain of one pound, but I'm back on it. I've been eating well and we'll see. We'll see where next week is. So yeah, leave me comments down below. I would love to know what excuses are you currently giving yourself? What outs are you giving yourself? Let's be honest, like we're family now. You guys have been here for a minute. We're family. So leave me comments down below and let's let's chat about it. All right, let's, as a matter of fact, I want you to leave me, I want you to tell me what excuse that you're, you've been giving yourself and what you're gonna do about it. So that in a couple weeks we can come back and be like, yes girl, yes, you did it, you did it. All right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.